Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. I have been smashing out the Summer Star Player Views guys. This will be the sixth one after release. We checked out Richarlison earlier today and we checked out four other lads on my channel already. This video is going to be dedicated to the Italian lad who unfortunately got himself injured last night. It looked pretty bad. I'm not too sure how severe it is, but he has been flying high so far in this tournament. It is of course the flying left wing back, Spinazzola. So the man Leonardo Spinazzola, this guy has been an absolute delight to watch for Italy so far this Euro. Such a quality player, he's come out of nowhere. And he's playing as that like flying left wing back and it is lovely to see and it works perfectly for Italy's uh, system. Let's just hope his injury isn't as bad as what it looked like. But the card itself, six foot one, medium, medium, right footed, left back. It's a bit questionable, but he does have the four star weak foot, which will help with that. And he also has the four star skills. And guys, this guy cost me 140k. Heading over to the attributes with the anchor chem style, this guy is pretty much a perfect left back. The pace goes up to 97 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Defensively, we are almost maxing out every single stat, just minus the heading accuracy and defensive awareness and interceptions go up to a 97. Physically, this guy's stamina is fantastic. 99 is going to be going all damn game. The strength goes up to 93 and the aggression up to 92, which is perfect. Dribbling wise, the agility and balance are a little bit on the low side compared to the meta, especially the balance. You could look to boost that up, but I would definitely recommend an anchor chem style for this card. The rest of dribbling stats, the reactions, the ball control, the dribbling and composure are top, top tier. Passing wise, the crossing is fantastic. That is what he's known for, a left wing back bombing down the wing, whipping balls into the box. So you would expect really good passing stats. Vision's great, short pass is great, and the long pass is also fantastic. Curve is a little bit on the low side. Uh, I don't think that's going to affect the card too much. Going forward, he is actually too bad. I mean, the stats aren't anything to shout about. He is a left back. He should not be in a shooting position most of the time. But if he is there, he actually stands a chance of finding the back of the net. Attack positioning is solid. Finishing being 70 is respectable for a left back the shot power and long shots are pretty okay you could try them but i wouldn't recommend it guys keep it low on the ground with this man get him onto the edge of the box whipping them balls that is what i would recommend in regards to player traits that's unfortunate isn't it the man is injury prone poor time in ea i'm not a fan technical dribbler cpu ai trait is also on this card so those are the attributes that's going to be the team that this guy is going to be working with. Oh yes guys, Summer Stars in full flow in motion. I've tried out so many cards already on my channel. We just finished doing a Richarlison player view and he is also in this team. We got Insigne for the strong link, Christensen and then the Yorkshire Perlo are the other Summer Stars available. Yorkshire Perlo by the way, man, he's so damn good. I've not played, I've not used a better passer than this guy. Every single ball he plays is literally on a six punts for whoever he's pinging it to. You can do it about 50 yards down the pitch, it will find the target. Unreal card. The rest of the boys, we've got Silas and Babu, prime moments, Desai. Noya somehow keeps his place. He's so bad. He is such a bad goalie, but I mean, he's the best I've got. As I said, Christensen, Macy Mount is in the team as well as Paddy V. So at 10 11 on a Saturday morning, he is currently going. For about, I believe there's a bid for 148k, so he might be sitting about 140 to 150k, which is insanely cheap for a card with these kind of stats. If he plays up to the stats, then it is an absolute bargain. Somewhat similar to Chilwell's card when he came out, he was insanely cheap for what the stats were offering. So I'm hoping that is the case with this lad. But in regards to how we're lining up in game, guys, 4 3 1 2 is the formation. We're trying to spin Azola as a left back, but he is on get forward, so we will be testing him out more as a left wing back, I guess, if that makes sense. Maybe a left mid, bombing forward. I want to get him going at the pitch as much as possible. Being involved in the play, the link-up play. We'll test out the passing, the crossing, and if we get the chance, we'll be pinging a few shots at goal. The rest of the team is, as you can see there, Richarlis and Silas up top. Insigne in the pocket. Midfield three of Macy Mount, Patty V, and Calvin Phillips. And the back four stays the same. So, boys, I'm excited to get into some gameplay here. Three Div 1 matches, 2300 is my skill total. We're not touching weekend league. I just, I'm not about it anymore. Let me know down below if you guys are still doing your weekend league or not. But we're going to keep the montage style going, guys. and compile all the clips from these three games. Truly test out our big man Spinazzola. See if he is worth the cash. Or see if he performs so much better than how much he is worth. And I'll catch up with you afterwards.
Oh my days. Spinazzola is top, top tier, guys. He might be the best left back I've used. I said that about Chilwell. I said that about Tierney. But this guy's just, it just gets better and better. Honestly, the pace is absolutely rapid. It's so lightning going down the wing. The passing, the link up play is fantastic. And that finish on his right foot, oh, I'm not sure what foot it was, to be fair. But that goal he scored was sensational. Top, top bins. He got a bit lucky to get the ball back, but he smashed it top bin. Defensively, insanely solid, guys. You would expect that almost be a 99 stats across the card. But the interceptions are there. He felt strong on the ball with that engine boost. One thing for sure, I definitely would use an engine on this card, especially if you're playing him as a left back. You could. It pains me to say it. Play him as a centre back. He'd be super solid as well. But I would recommend making the most out of his attacking options and use him as that left back or a left wing back in a five or three back just to go up the pitch as much as possible, make the most out of the passing stats and the finishing because he scored a goal for me, you know? Oh, he probably, I probably would have put too much faith in him bagging up back to back goals in the box. But he did score a nice goal. Overall, he is an absolute steal for the price. A big fat 10 out of 10 for how much you have to spend on this guy. I can't believe he's so cheap. Maybe it's the fact that we're in July, we're coming towards the end of FIFA. Player prices are just, people don't care. At the end of the day, they've all got money. Why is he going to be so expensive? Just keep it as it is. But I would say he is worth it for the price, boys. I mean, the only downside I'm going to say is the agility and balance. But I didn't notice it too much. He was able to take on men quite easily. The little speed boost, the ball rolls, and the lack of care to skill cancels are top tier with this chap. So I'm not going to discredit it for him. I'm going to say that he may be the best left back I've used this year. And that's ahead of Kieran Tierney. That pains me to say it because I'm an Arsenal fan. So that means a lot. Anyway, guys, I've been Morsi. I hope you enjoyed this one as always and all the other player views on my channel. If you are interested in checking out the ones for Christensen, Calvin Phillips, Richarlison, Locatelli and Dumfries, I believe it was, then make sure to go back on my channel and check those out, guys. Drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the Summer Stars promo and enjoy the Euros tonight. Come on, England. We got this, lads. And I'll catch you very soon for another one. Take it easy.